Bitcoin pulling back nicely today. So again, you can see nice little down day here, trading around 65,500. Again, the question I have, and this is a question that most technicians would have, is is this a pullback before that next leg up into here? Or is it going to be a more substantial pullback? Bitcoin Zella stands out with its simplicity and clarity. We've crafted an experience that anyone can dive into, whether you're a crypto expert or just a new to the crypto world. Now guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us and we read every comment and the best part, it's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. Let's join Gareth in this video about Bitcoin and more. Let's cover the market key data points. Then we have the Dow today trading just fractionally lower. Remember yesterday we had a big rally in the markets. Today much more of a muted market. All right, so Dow again down 86 points. NASDAQ is up 18, which is essentially flat for that index. S&P 500 down about 11 points. Oil taking a nice little hit, breaking that key support at 88, or excuse me, $78 per barrel. Gold is up just ever so slightly after the big dip earlier uh, last week or late last week. And Bitcoin taking a hit, 65500 We will absolutely look at that chart today as well. So let's go right into the action here on the actual chart of the S&P 500. This is the intraday chart showing us what is going on. Look at what's happening here. This is nervousness right now going into the end of the day. A little bit of a 10-minute sell candle to end the day. Basically bringing us down not to the lows of the day, but kind of getting closer to that. After the float up throughout the mid portion of the day, you're getting some, again, unloading into the end of the day because of those earnings announcements. Remember, investors are very wary, at least smart investors. They know the markets are overbought. Google must deliver a rock star quarter. Tesla's trading at levels where it's really all about the robo taxi um, and maybe a few of their other AI initiatives. And so they have to deliver. Both of these companies must deliver stellar reports to continue to see upside. We will find out. But you can see, again, early in the day, a lot of chop, some sideways chop here. And then throughout the course of the day, just kind of a little bit of a fade on the S&P 500. All right, so let's go into the, some of these other charts here. What is Google looking like here? Nice little sell on Google into the end of the day here. So again, who knows what it does on earnings, but nice little downtick right here. I will be keeping an eye on it in the after hours. We still have about two minutes to go until the markets close. Then we should start getting some of these key reports out. Now let's flip to the daily chart on Google because I want to kind of take a look at what we've been seeing. So the first thing that strikes me if we look at this, we have a trend line right here, which looks to me to have broken. So again, if we look at this, right, we see this chart, this trend line going back to March of 2024, pivot low right here, pivot low right here, right here, and then right here was a breakdown, a little retrace. Now, sometimes on a retrace, you go back to the scene of the crime, so there's always that chance, but overall, to me, this would be concerning, the fact that it's broken its uptrend that it started back in March, when it was really before that, right, if you look at prior to March, it was just a whole lot of this, then it got its bull move. Now it's again broken that key kind of uh, trend line. So we're going to watch and see what those earnings do. But nonetheless, the stock is selling a little bit here into the end of the day. Maybe some big money. Maybe they know something. Maybe they don't. I guess we'll find out in just a couple minutes. Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki predicts that if Donald Trump is reelected as U.S. president, the dollar will weaken, leading to increased prices for gold, silver, Bitcoin, and other assets. He forecasts gold will rise from $2,400 to $3,300 an ounce, silver from $29 to $79 an ounce, and Bitcoin from $67,400 to $105,000 per coin by August 2025. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, predicts a surge in asset prices if Donald Trump is re-elected. He forecasts gold to rise from $2,400 to $3,000, $300 an ounce, silver from $29 to $79 an ounce, and Bitcoin from $67,400 to $105,000 per coin by August 2025. Kiyosaki argues that Trump's policies would weaken the dollar, increase exports, create jobs, and boost the prices of gold, silver, Bitcoin, stocks, and real estate. 
He emphasizes that Trump's plan for extensive oil drilling would lower oil prices, contributing to these economic changes. Kiyosaki criticizes President Joe Biden's policies, particularly the cancellation of the Keystone XL pipeline, which he claims caused oil prices to jump and led to massive inflation. He contrasts this with Trump's policies, suggesting that they would have the opposite effect. Tesla's chart, same thing, a little bit of sell-side action today. If we flip over to the daily chart, this is that amazing chart, which was one of the craziest wedge patterns I've ever seen in the stock market on a mega cap tech. Notice again, goes back to the lows of 2020. Here's your high, which was your all-time high. We did break above it here, so you did get a breakout. But the question is, can it hold the breakout or does it need to retrace to like 225, which would be a key support or a retrace to the scene of the crime? In fact, let me zoom in on that here so we can take a look. If we zoom in on that wedge pattern, we can see that really for the last two weeks, it's been chopping sideways above that trend line. That's actually not a bad sign. That's actually an okay thing. Doesn't mean it's going to go up for sure, but ultimately it, it at least tells you that it's trying to hold this technical level here, and it has thus far, maybe even building a little bit of a bull flag. But I will say this, is that Elon Musk must deliver something special here, right? So again, it's not just deliveries. It's not just the revenue numbers. He's got to deliver some sort of vision that is going to excite people enough to say, okay, the stock's up basically almost 100% since April. How does it go up more than that? How does it go towards that $1 trillion valuation? We're going to watch and see right now. All right, let's go to the intraday charts here. We don't have anything out, but we are looking here. This is Tesla on a 10-minute chart. Let's flip over to Google. Let's see what Google's doing here. So far, nothing major on Google yet. Earnings not out. Uh, end phase. Here's end phases intraday chart here in the after hours. Nothing going on there uh, yet. And again, we literally just had the markets closing. So I'm just flipping through these charts, Texas Instruments, Seagate Technologies. Again, so far, nothing major, but let's keep a close eye on these. All right. A couple other things to go over while we're waiting. Let's go over the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin pulling back nicely today. So again, you can see nice little down day here trading around 65,500. Again, the question I have, and this is a question that most technicians would have, is, is this a pullback before that next leg up into here, or is it going to be a more substantial pullback? We don't know yet. All we can do is follow the charts and the levels. One thing I do see is we have good support right down here. So right around 62 to 63,000, if it does pull back there, that will be a big level to watch. Can Bitcoin hold there? If it does, you favor the upside. You favor a move to 70, 72, maybe 74,000 on Bitcoin. BTC price breakout talks return as the popular hash ribbons indicator signals buy for the first time in 2024. The hash ribbons indicator has shown a buy signal, marking the first time in 2024 that BTC is in long-term buy territory. Bitcoin hash ribbons, which track moving averages of hash rate, indicate that miners have exited their latest capitulation period. Historical trends suggest that this buy signal could lead to an explosive BTC price rally, as seen in past instances. As of July 22, Bitcoin hash rate stands at 676 exahashes per second, e slash des. Despite current sell-side pressures, BTC price recovery has lifted the market past $68,000, with potential for further gains. Despite a muted reaction following the debut of spot Ethereum exchange-traded funds, ETF, analysts predict Ethereum, Ethereum could achieve unprecedented highs in 2024. Key factors include large amounts of staked Ethereum and positive market sentiment. Ethereum's price experienced a slight drop of 0.42% following the debut of spot ETF, with $106.6 million in net inflows. Despite the lack of immediate price fireworks, the long-term outlook remains positive. Permanent holder addresses acquired a record 714,000 Ethereum worth $2.4 billion just before the ETF started trading, indicating strong investor confidence. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.